Hi everyone and welcome to More to Explore. I'm Miss Natasha and today we are going to make a 3D flower wreath. Isn't that cool? Okay, so your flower wreath has a base and it has multiple colored flower pieces and it's got leaves. So in your kit you will find all of those. You will find the base, which is cardboard, and you will find the templates to all of the flower colors and the leaves. What's not in your kit are scissors, which you will need, but most people have at home, and glue. So the most popular one is the little Elmer's glue with the tip. That'll be perfect. If you have a glue stick or another type of glue, that works too. I have the big gallon one, so I'm going to need a cup and I'm going to need something to apply it with. But if you have the regular Elmer's glue that has the nozzle, that'll work just fine. Last but not least, you will need a pencil. This will help design your base. Okay, for your base, first step, go ahead and take out that cardboard sheet in your kit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make that ring, which all of your flowers and leaves will be glued on top of and hold together. So I went ahead and I drew my base. It is a circle with the inner circle and an outer circle, which will create the ring. And then your next step will be to cut it out. So go ahead and cut out your ring cardboard base. Okay, once you're done cutting out that circular base, you're going to flip it over because we don't want the pencil markings to show. We want that to be the back. So we're gonna glue on the nice side. Okay, now that you've cut out your base, go ahead and cut out all of your flowers and your leaves. So this is what all your parts will look like, but really important, when you're gluing onto that ring for your wreath, you don't want the black part with the outline to show you want to glue it on the other side. So I'll show you as we fold the flowers. All right, go ahead and grab your ring. Remember, you want the pencil side down. And then you want to think about how you want to construct your flowers. The bottom color will be underneath, and then the top color will be on the top. So think about how you want to design it. I think I'm going to put a blue flower on the bottom and then I'm going to do a purple on the top for my first one. So remember, take one of the flowers and then you want to turn that pen side down and you want to fold the nice side. So go ahead and fold it in half like that, reopen. And then we're going to fold again on the other side. So you'll be folding these twice. That way it'll look like that. Fold, we'll be folding each one twice. And then we are going to glue. So I'm going to take my gallon, but you'll probably have the little Elmer's glue which is good. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and glue that center part of the flower on the bottom down to our ring. And again, think about placement. So I'll start at the top, I think. I'll make my glue go this way. And that'll be your first layer of your flower. Each flower will have two layers of petals. And you can always refold it as well. So I'd hold it down for at least 10 seconds with your glue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, or you can time it. And then we're gonna put our next layer, remember, black part on the bottom, and we'll fold the nice part. 
to give it dimension. Once and then twice. And I wanted my purple flower to go on top of my blue. I should say my purple layer to go on top of my blue layer of my flower. And then I'll hold it again for 10 seconds. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Three, Mississippi. Four, Mississippi. Five, Mississippi. Six, Mississippi. Seven, Mississippi. Eight, Mississippi. Nine, Mississippi. 10, Mississippi. All right. So now that that's done, we are going to take those strips you had cut out. And I think with this flower, I kind of want the pink one. And again, they have that black outer line, and that's going to be the inside. We don't want it to show on top. So the black will be inside, and we're gonna close these shut with the glue. So go ahead and close it shut. Remember, 10 seconds. That way it'll stick together. And again with these, you're going to have to put glue right there at the center, bottom, inside. And then you're gonna press it together like that. And then we'll count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then the last step is to glue it down to your flower. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you could try to do this all at the same time if you'd like. And we can put some glue in our first spot, which is the inside top. And we can put some glue on the inside bottom. And then we can put some glue on top of our flower. And then we can just count to 10 once for all three glue spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think that's a lot faster, but it's entirely up to you and it's your flower. So you can glue however you'd like. But those are my two suggestions to choose from. At least from my experience of making these. I find the second one a lot easier and quicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I gotta decide how do I wanna close the top of the flower? I think the lighter one. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, my first flower is done. So that's exactly how I wanted it to look. I planned it out. I chose my two layers, chose my colors, and that's how you glue your flowers. So go ahead and continue to make your flowers for the rest of your wreath.
and then we'll add the leaves last. After you're done making all of your flowers, go ahead and take your leaves and you're going to fold them. Remember the outline at the bottom, the nice side on top. Go ahead and fold that so you see the nice side folded. And you're gonna go ahead and glue your leaves wherever you like. Usually I find a place that the cardboard is kind of peeping out and I'll go ahead and put glue on the cardboard and then I'll stick my leaf down and I'll glue it down. So again, 10 seconds, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You have your leaf and you'll go ahead and you'll add your leaves throughout until you have your finished product. All right, my friends, so have fun and hang up your wreath somewhere. Be proud of it. Did you know ancient Greeks used wreaths to celebrate many things, weddings, Olympian winners, and war heroes. To them, wreaths symbolized honor and joy.